This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news, all right? So Dana Lea, whatever you say her name is, her and the baby supposedly back together or something uh, because people were saying that she is going to have his baby. That's a rumor that's going around, and they're trying to show, like, see how her, her shirt falls on her butt. You know, it's like all this other stuff. I mean, hey, we'll see. I could see I could see them getting back together, you know? Um, the baby. And he's also being dragged for that comment he made. Did you see the, the video where he was on a private jet, and he was like, the least this woman could do is comb her hair? Because the woman's hair was all messed up. That was the flight attendant. And then he pans over to his homie who has like a unicorn coming out of him. <laughs> unicorn hairstyle. <laughs> At least it looked neat though, right? I don't, I, you know, I don't know why. You know, people were trying to trash him for that. The baby is a disrespectful person. <laughs> he does good things, but he's disrespectful. Um, Scotty Pippen, so sad he lost his uh, firstborn son. Pens a letter to him. Uh, he passes from asthma. He says, I'm heartbroken to share yesterday. I said goodbye to my firstborn son, Antron. The two of us shared the love of basketball. We had countless conversations about the game. Antron suffered from chronic asthma. And if he hadn't had it, I truly believe he would have made it to the NBA. He never let that get him down, though. Antron stayed positive and worked hard, and I'm so proud of that man, the man he became. Uh, please keep his mom, Karen, and all of his family and friends in your thoughts and prayers. A kind heart and beautiful soul gone way too soon. Then he said, I love you, son. Rest easy until we meet again. That's so sad. Um, next, we got Bosco challenging Daz to, uh, you know, another match in the near future daz says that he will whoop his ass <laughs> he says uh and then he says he's uh f bosco killer and then he says uh let's see i see daz doing just feeling left out soup dog trail let's give daz a warm fight club welcome i'm ready when he is and then daz accepts the challenge and he says uh let's see you're gonna let let's see what he says get the bag up because that bag uh wasn't no bag uh, that wasn't nothing but tax money i need your bag when i beat your ass <laughs> so uh i'm gonna get i'm gonna get my bag plus your bag and a bonus bag you know what i'm saying i mean you know daz daz has been known to you know put his paws on a few people he says give me a million dollars I'll beat you up. Da, da, da. Daz being Daz. All right. Then we got. Uh... Oh, Cormega comes to Diddy's defense on Black Rob. Because a lot of people were blaming Diddy for what happened to Black Rob. I don't think. I mean, from what I've seen, they haven't blamed Diddy. It just reminds you that Diddy has some bad ways of handling certain artists right it's not his fault what happened to black rob but you know black rob disappeared just like many of his artists very quickly um he makes some points in here though that that i should read he says the truth is a ray of light when we are clouded with judgment so let me shine some light on the speculation diddy did a bad boy reunion tour and bob uh, and rob was included Diddy looked out for him recently. Diddy is handling the funeral arrangements. If you can't match what he's done, uh, you should not blame a man for someone's death. Yeah, you can't really blame him for his passing, but you can, it does remind you of the past, you know? Rob was my guy, and I proudly worked with him when he was no longer in the spotlight, and I think it would be better served if people reserved their words for condolences to the family and for all the positive moments instead of divisive speculation that stops us from unifying and growing as a culture. Blame. Don't be lame. Well, he took the lame out of blame. 
R.I.P. Rob, salute to all uh, standing up for something. Condolences to his family. Condolences to his bad boy peers. And condolences to the fans who respect his music. Salute. You know, he made his point. I mean, yeah, there's certain points in that. Yeah, of course, you know. But I don't know. Did he? Did he do? I don't know. Uh, This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll check you guys in the next one.